What's up, guys? Welcome to Garrett Talks Football. Subscribe if you're new. Closing in on 1,000 subs. I need that to get monetized. You do me a favor, but you would get a good bargain as well. Because one, it's free. Two, it'll take two seconds. Three, it'll make me smile. That's actually a favor for me. And number four, I release more NFL content than anybody you can find on YouTube. Maybe. It's close. Don't, don't go looking for it because you might find someone that does more. The point is, I make a lot of content. If you love football like me, you're always looking for more NFL content no matter what you're doing. If you're sitting on the john, you know what I'm saying? If you're, if, you're, if you're dropping your girl off at school and you're waiting in the parking lot, I got you. Let's all move on to the game. The Giants and the Titans. Titans are a six-point favorite. I don't like that very much. Now, I'm not saying they're not going to win. That just seems a lot to me. Let's talk about the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill, I think he's on a short leash. Malik Willis, really cool last name. That's my last name if you didn't know. He is the greatest last name in the league. He's got legs, like all players. But his are, his are special because he can run. He can throw the ball very well. Decision making looked very good. Accuracy looked awesome. Although they did hype up that thread the needle a little bit more than normal. Half the time, thread the needles are just really close to being intercepted and the quarterback gets credit for it. Despite that, he played very well. I love what Malik Willis is doing. And you know what? Um, a mobile quarterback and a power running back is one of the leth- or, ugh, it's one of the deadliest combinations in all of football. So let's shoot back to 2012, Robert Griffin, Alfred Morris. How about Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards? You get the point? That's nasty. And that's very attractive to the coaches and the general manager and the staff of the Tennessee Titans. And not even just them, but to you guys, the fans. Something to look forward to. Yes, you lost A.J. Brown. That sucks. You got Robert Woods. Tiny downgrade. Doesn't fit your system as well. You guys have been very quiet this offseason. Let's talk about the Giants. Daniel Jones' last chance. I feel like I've said that three years in a row, but I mean it this time. With that being said, this offseason or this preseason, he looked phenomenal. Looked really good. He's always had the perfect quarterback build, looking like a Manning brother. But this, this preseason, I get it, it's just preseason, but he was on point, threw the ball hard, threw the ball accurate, with good timing, bad intentions. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect gameplay. Saquon Barkley's coming back off his injury. I'll talk about Derrick Henry's in a minute. Missed it. My bad. But Saquon Barkley coming off of his injury with vengeance. Looks good. Looks really good. Is the Browns offensive line elite? Nah. Does it need to be? Not really. Kenny Galladay's there. Hasn't done much. I'm expecting that to change. Giants got a decent defense. They lost James Bradbury. Sucks. But the still, you're overall above average. You just need Daniel Jones to consistently play well. He'll have one game where he looks like a Manning brother. And the next, he looks like, I don't even know, the grandfather of the Manning brothers. Slow, bad, bad balls, just doesn't look confident. Lock into that confidence. I need you to reach into Baker Mayfield's mind and put the arrogance cap on. You could play really well. I don't care if you look like a D-bag. The confidence is key to being a quarterback. Okay? Yeah, humble yourself. Josh Allen, whatever. But I promise you, if you dig deep enough, Josh Allen's got a little arrogance in them too. May not come off the way Baker's does. He may not wear it on his sleeve like Baker does. But you need that. That's what Daniel Jones needs. Now let's talk about Derrick Henry. Yeah, he's getting older. Is he? I think he's in his 30s, right? I believe so. I'm not going to double check. You can if you want. Just come back to the video. But Derrick Henry, massive dude, fast dude, all around scariest running back in the NFL in his own way. I think he's going to be very good this year, and he'll continue. I don't want to see people doubting Derrick Henry. And, and it's only going to get worse is if you throw Malik Willis back there. Am I saying Malik Willis is ready? No. But do I think Ryan Tannehill is on a short leash? Yes. Derrick Henry is going to be really good. I'm worried about the Titans. I think the Giants will surprise people, and they will beat the Tennessee Titans. I could see him winning 27, 21, something along those lines. And it starts the downfall of Ryan Tannehill in Tennessee. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.